So why do you guys think it is that so many of us struggle to really have the success that we want, right? It could be business, it could be your physique, it could be the girl, it doesn't really matter. Why do you think so many of us struggle with that? And you're not able to really see the success you want. It seems like it's just, it's not really like coming into your life. It's not manifesting into your life. And the reality is, bro, is because you are not the man, you have not created the individual capable of that success. You are not worthy yet of that level of success because if you were, you would already have it. It's that simple. If you do not have the results yet in your life that you want, it is simply because of one thing and that is because you are not the man yet capable of having that success. The external things that we, you know, we get in this life, the physique, you know, the girl, the money, these things, these are all byproducts of an individual. These are all byproducts of a man that has been created and forged through the daily habits, through the daily actions necessary to get that outcome. A lot of you guys just want to skip to the outcome. And so I talked to a lot of guys, you know, with the, um, through, through our blueprint, through our coaching blueprint with the, you know, getting people, getting guys in shape, getting them ripped, you know, quitting the bad habits and just setting up a way to take control of your life and really build that man that you respect. And a lot of guys are struggling with, you know, dating because the dating market is so crazy in today's world. We've never experienced anything like this. Our fathers, our grandfathers didn't have the internet and social media and all this other shit to get in the way. And they didn't live in such an instant gratification society as we do today. So things are so different. And, you know, luck, like, likely if you're a young man, you know, you've you've seen just so much stuff online about relationships. And one of the things, though, that I see is a lot of guys complain about the dating market and they complain about their lack of options with women. And it's like, dude, you're still fat. You are still addicted to jacking off to porn, drinking alcohol, smoking weed and eating junk food. You look like shit in the mirror. You don't like yourself. And so if you don't like yourself, how is she supposed to like you? Real talk. So many men out here complaining about the dating market should just shut the fuck up because in reality, they're just literally walking hypocrites. They're literally just walking around hypocrites of the message that they're trying to, 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 to show. You know, oh, women have such high standards. Oh, women this, women that. And yet you still walk around not able to do the most basic things of sticking to your macros, sticking to your training. You can only do it for a week and then you fall off. Still jacking off to porn, wasting your energy, wasting your fucking, your, 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 um, your masculine essence. Low testosterone because all the shit foods that you eat and because you're just a bitch. <laughs> and you want to sit here and complain about the fact that you can't attract that girl. It's like, well, dude. You're chasing, you're constantly chasing things. You're chasing the physique, you're chasing the financial success, you're chasing the girl, because you're putting all these things up here on a pedestal, okay? And when you put things on a pedestal and you're constantly chasing, 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 that means that these things are on a higher frequency than you. And so what you need to do is you gotta get yourself on that same frequency. You gotta get yourself up here. So that with these things here, they can just be attracted to you and they come to you. That's what the problem is. So many of you guys are doing this because you haven't built the man yet. You haven't created that individual who's worthy of these things, okay? If you want to be worthy of having a six-pack and having ripped physique and being jacked, you have to put in the reps in the gym. You have to stick to your fucking macros. I can't tell you how many people I see in the gym who are working out for one year, two years, three years, four years, and they still look the same. It makes no sense. It makes literally no sense. How could you put in that much work? and still look the same. It's because they aren't willing to make the sacrifices. They're, they're not willing to drop the vices. They're not willing to get rid of the alcohol. They're not willing to get rid of you know their junk food habits. They're not willing to lock in on the macros and do what they need to every single day to really get to that point. And it's horrible because when you are doing an action day after day after day, and you lack results simply because you're just either too stupid or your ego is just in your way that you can't seek help. That is where it becomes a problem. And so in order for you to really start to get the results that you want in life, bro, you have to be willing to put in the work. Okay. You have to be willing to put in the work. You can't be walking around complaining about how bad dating is in, in the Western world and how women are just, you know, just so, you know, their standards are just so high and blah, 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 all this fucking talk. When you're walking around with a fucking belly and skinny arms, still addicted to all these negative, you know, bad habits, working a job that you barely like a nine to five where you're just scraping by, you don't really enjoy it. Come on. 
Like we have to become that thing that the object of our desire would be attracted to. If you want a girl, you see this 10 out of 10 girl that you're just like, wow, she's so fucking amazing. She's beautiful. She's got a great personality. You have to think in your own mind, what does she want? What would it be? What kind of man would she be attracted to? Would she be attracted to a guy who's walking around who's not confident in himself enough to take his shirt off at the beach and be proud of his physique? Would she be confident of a guy who looks at himself in the mirror and every day he sees himself, he hates the way that he looks? Would she want to be with a guy who can't trust himself when it comes to alcohol or, or weed or, or porn to say no and to have that discipline and to have that ability to say no to things that are negative, negatively impacting, you know, his mind and, and, and his life. Like, you have to start thinking about this stuff, you guys. Shit doesn't just magically appear. Like, as men, we have to carve our fucking path, bro. And this is another problem that I see. Another thing that kind of pisses me off is... If you're a young man in today's world, you probably have heard... You know, the saying that, oh, you know, women think they're the prize. No, men are the prize. Men are the prize. And it's like, bro, no. <laughs> the vast majority of men are not the fucking prize. The vast majority of men are still doing things that they don't really like to do every day. They're not in alignment with their purpose. They hate their life. They're still fat or they're just, you know, skinny. They're, they're not working on their physique at all. The personality just fucking isn't there because they don't believe in themselves. They have no fucking confidence. And they're still addicted to all these fucking stupid you know, vices. So no, the vast majority of men are not the fucking prize. Wake the fuck up. Just because some guy on the internet, you know, some red pillar or, you know, one of these guys says, oh yeah, you're the prize, bro. You're the man. You're the prize. No, you're not. And not until you earn it. Becoming the prize as a man is something that you have to fucking earn. And it's not just handed out to everybody. Okay. We don't do participation trophies when it comes to you being the prize or you being an above average man in today's society. You have to earn every second of that you have to earn every inch of that has to be earned through hard work through your daily habits through your daily process so i don't want you guys getting confused because you know when i was years ago when i was more into you know red pill and dating and these kinds of things they're constantly on this shit about you know how, it was just a constant negative mindset about you know how how women are just this and women are that and you know how um you know men are the prize and women think they're the prize but they're not and blah blah blah, blah. shut the fuck up Okay, this is why personal development is so key. You can't attract that which you aren't. So if you are a guy who's a low frequency male, okay, and you just, you have no motion going on, you got nothing going on in your life, you cannot expect to attract or pull that woman who's up here on a higher frequency. It's not going to happen. You have to earn your place and only then can you attract her because you're no longer putting her on a pedestal. So many of you guys are walking around here putting these girls on pedestals, chasing them. And what, what that says is that you're not worthy yet. You're not worthy of that. Because if you were worthy of it, if you were actually that guy, she would be coming after you. Your mindset would be, dude, I am so, like, I am such a, a, an insane, like, high-level guy that her life is going to massively benefit from even being around me. Just me going up and talking to her is going to massively benefit her life. But for the vast majority, that's not the case. And so you know this, subconsciously you know this, subconsciously you know that you're not ready, that you're not at that level. And so this is why we get questions like, oh, how do I go talk to that girl? You know, how do I go cold approach her? How, how do I do this? How do I do that? Bro, all of those things cease to be important when you have created the individual that you actually respect. Because that is a man who is confident in himself, confident in his ability to not fucking fumble because he's proved it day after day after day through his daily habits, through the results that he has in life. And then... You become that kind of individual who can attract whatever the fuck he wants in this life. You know, life is literally just like a video game. That's the way I look at it. And because I grew up playing so many video games, it's the same fucking thing. You just got to stack wins. You just got to level up your, your experience points so then you can get and acquire skills. Once you have those skills, you start to create that character. You start to get the weapons and armor you need to become successful in any endeavor. So this is why I always tell you guys it's so important to first start with you. You start with you. And by, by focusing on you and your own personal development and self-mastery, you then gain mastery over the external, right? Mastery first comes from inside. You have to master yourself and then the rest of the world will start to conform to you. So that includes having a daily blueprint that puts you on the right track with your habits, 
That includes getting ripped. Okay, you can't be walking. Guys, it's 2024. You can't be walking around as a man with 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 tits. You can't be walking around as a man who's got a freaking, you know, a belly. It's just, what the fuck? Like, it's so basic. It's so basic. And it's so like, if you don't understand this concept yet, look at what women actually like. Look at what society respects. Never, ever, ever in the history has anybody been respecting somebody who doesn't respect himself. Okay, that's the problem. You don't respect yourself. If you've allowed yourself to get that out of sync with your conscience in terms of your training, in terms of your eating, and you're completely that far gone, then guess what? You don't respect yourself enough. Because if you did and you're holding yourself to a higher standard and chasing that highest version of yourself, you wouldn't look like that. So your body is an external manifestation. It's an external representation of how you think about yourself. And for me personally, when I looked at my worst, it's because I didn't respect myself. I did not respect myself. And that was a representation of that, right? When I, you know, I had stopped training for years on end and I had just gotten out of shape. You know, I started to put on a bunch of fat and I had skinny arms and shit. I had no chest. <laughs> that was a representation of the fact that I didn't respect myself. And if I had, then I wouldn't be in that position. So the truth is you need to create that individual that you really do respect. And once you do that, society starts to respect you. The woman that you want starts to be attracted to you because you're attracted to yourself, okay? The number one thing you gotta think about is if you don't love your life, if you don't love yourself, how can she? If you don't love yourself, how can she love you? It makes no sense. You have to love yourself in order for her to love you. Right? Because if you don't love your life, how can she? It makes no sense. There's no way or any circumstance or any scenario where that's going to work long term because you're just going to bring everything down. And so, yes, while we're talking about, you know, relationships in this video and dating in this video, this applies across all sectors. This applies to getting results with your physique. This applies with getting results to your financial situation and growing your business. It applies to everything. And so... As always, guys, you know, I, I I just had to bring this message to you, man. I love you guys, but just sometimes I got to come out with a bit of a harsher message because society is so obsessed with telling you, oh, it's okay, you're fine, just be yourself. And it's so fucking disgusting because they almost want you to fail. And I can't let that happen, not on my watch, guys. I'm not going to, I'm always going to tell you the truth, okay? You're not going to like what you hear a lot of the time, <laughs> okay? Because Because I didn't like it. When I was in the position that I used to be in, very undisciplined, a physique that just, I had no physique, you know, really. I mean, I grew up pretty athletic, you know, I didn't look bad, but I got out of shape over time. You know, I didn't have a girl. My life was pretty shit. And I had, I was dealing with a lot of pain from it. But no one was there, bro. No one was there to really tell me like, hey, these are the steps you need to take. This is the blueprint every single day that if you do this, you will build that man who can attract that success. Chasing is for the birds. We don't chase. We build the character and we build the guy who can attract the things that he wants into his life. And he has all the options and abundance in the world. That is the mission. Okay? That is the mission. So that's basically it. I love you guys. Leave a you know, comment down below. Let me know, you know what you're struggling with in, in terms of getting control of your own life so that you can you know, get the money you want, get the girls that you want. Like what, like what do you think about this message? Okay? Again, I love you guys and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.